All right, man, welcome to that Sin Show. We got a crazy drop today. We got the Rolling Project, Lydia. This turns a Raspberry Pi 5 into this insane neural sampling audio processor. This is brought straight from the labs of Japan, baby, and we're gonna get into it and get into the beautiful, wonderful world of DIAI, baby. Let's go with that Sin Show. All right, man, welcome back. Welcome back to that synth show. We got an insane drop. I was perusing the internet today and we got this thing that's gonna blow your mind. You stick around for a little bit. You're gonna see how crazy this thing is. It's one of the coolest things that Roland has ever brought out. And I think it's a very exciting way of integrating AI into music production and everything else. This thing can take any sound on planet Earth. Basically, you take it, you neurally process this thing through the AI into this pedal, and you got anything you want, anytime you want, anyhow you want, any way you want it. All right, so let's get into it, man. Introducing the Project Lydia. I got two websites loaded up. I got this one, and I got Syntopia, where I found it. Shout out to Iowa Trading Company, man. One of the main sponsors of the show, man. The all encompassing beautiful branding megalith okay doesn't matter if you're a small creator big creator a medium creator or just you want some of your own merch to go flog on the streets okay in philadelphia whatever you're into they will cover all your needs man you're working with real human beings who are always putting your interests first man so shout out to iowa trading company and shout out to hot Todd, baby the craziest most wildest energy drink fueling the electronic music industry it's the hottest thing going man you can't sleep have a hot Todd, okay your miss is giving you a little nudge have a hot Todd, man if you don't got the energy this is going to bring it to you straight baby hot Todd energy stay tuned man that'll be hitting the shelves very very soon and it's a super exciting product and i'm proud to be sponsored by them all right so let's get into a project lydia discover the exciting audio effects technology preview from Roland future design labs and new tone baby n-u-t-o-n-e this is super cool music makers love to tinker from folk musicians building their own kalimbas duklamers and banjos to modern electronic musicians designing complete instruments and effects in environments like for max live diy cultures deeply ingrained in the dna of roland all right it might surprise you man roland's been doing diy since 1981 the year of our lord they established the Amdeck brand, analog music digital electronic kits, which offered everything from sample guitar effects to drum machines, mixers, and build-it-yourself kits. Few years later, Amdeck was renamed Roland Digital Group, and the company gradually shifted its focus to digital graphics and computer peripherals. However, the DIY seeds have already grown to sow their, their, their beautiful plants all over the this this flat plane baby if you know what i'm saying all right so we're gonna check out some sound first over from syntopia before we get into some more about the product but this thing is super cool man let's just take a quick little gander at it Isn't this crazy, man? This is powered by Neurotone's Morpho technology. Project Lydia, named after a DIY and AI, uses neural sampling to learn tonal qualities of any sound you can possibly capture or imagine and apply it to another in real time with sonic results ranging from highly musical, exotic, and surprising, man. So let's hear what this dude's got to say. This is Project Lydia, and it is a blast to play with. And I really hope that comes across in the snippets I have in this video. So the parameters here are fairly straightforward. Um, you might think, oh, well, there's not much to tweak here, but actually what- Just to let you know, I'm gonna buy this, right? Just to let you guys know, I'm gonna buy this. You should buy it because this is the cutting edge of technology at the moment. And say what you want about Roland, man. You can never doubt the fact, besides the TR-1000, that they're on the cutting edge of technology, okay? 
the cutting edge. The Juno X is cutting edge in the day, back in the day, not today, but back in the day, that was cutting edge. So Roland's on the cutting edge, and I think this is the cutting edge, man. What you send into the model is how you influence the output. It really reacts depending on um, what you're doing pre Lydia, which is kind of a unique paradigm. So you might set these controls up into a general ballpark that you, you're happy with, you know, general tonal balance, etc. And then you will actually have fun playing with, you know, your filter cutoff or your attack or whatever. You know, if you're on a guitar, you might pick harder or roll down the tone pot, and that's going to have an influence on the way this responds. And of course, that's also dependent on the model you have loaded. So there's a lot of variables. Um, and those variables are in the music. They're not in the controls. And that's kind of an interesting thing you don't really see very often. Whoa! Do you hear that? So I'm assuming they sampled in this crazy, like, uh, you know, heavy metal. And then when he's picking it out, that's triggering the samples in the new tone, Lydia pedal. That's friggin' berserk. I mean, you can't tell me that doesn't sound absolutely friggin' berserk. Holy That's absolutely crazy. That's absolutely crazy. This might this might be one of the coolest product releases of all time. This might actually end up being one of the most revolutionary products of all time. This might create a total a total spin-off tidal wave of companies using this similar type of technology. This is insane. This is what freaking gets me excited, man, to be into, into all this type of gear and stuff. This is what makes me so pumped up. This is what I started this stuff for, for absolutely crazy stuff like this. That is fantastic, man. Let's jump back over to the rolling site and get a little more insight. So, what we got here is, Roland was an early supporter of DIY, DI music, and today, man, we can skip all this stuff. Say hello to Project Lydia. Project Lydia is an audio effects experiment born of the partnership between Roland and our friends at Newtone, makers of next generation AI tools for musicians and artists. Put simply, Project Newtone. Put simply, Project Lydia takes a powerful Raspberry Pi 5 single board computer, infuses it with Newtone, trainable AI software, and wraps it in a stage ready hardware package from Roland. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Absolutely friggin' extraordinary. Let me get this out of the way. You see the boys working on it, building the pedal here. Inspiration behind Project Lydia. The conversation around AI and creativity has been dominated by ideas of simplifying, streamlining, and even outright replacing human creative process. Aligned with the principles of music creation with AI, which both Roland and Newtone support, we have different vision in mind. One where AI enhances and empowers human creativity rather than replacing it. As we brainstorm possibilities together, an idea emerged. 
to bring the power of Newtone AI model to hardware format that users could interact with and play, much like all rolling gear. This started us on the path that would lead to Project Lydia. A soft core that can learn, software core. Project Lydia comes with a special version of Newtone's New Morpho technology, optimized for low latency tinkering and live performance. Mofo learns the tonal qualities of a user's defined sound and applies these qualities to an input signal as a creative effect. Nuts! In academia, this is sometimes referred to as timber transfer or timbre transfer. We like to say timber where I'm from, man, because I come from the land of the lumberjack. Okay? But Newtone believes a better name for this may be neural sampling. I like timber transfer. What's special about neural sampling is the user can capture sounds from the world around them, train a model on these sounds, and perform with it on stage. Not only, but the choice of what to train the Project Lydia on is not limited to conventional instruments. Indeed, any sound can be made musical by morphing in real time with the input carrier signal. Human heartbeats can become kick drums, bird songs and whale calls can become melodies, and your noisy coffee machine can become a break beat, if that's what you're into. <laughs> Diving deeper... All right, man, we could get into this all day, but you go check it out. I'm going to throw the links down in the description. Check out uh, Roland.com, the articles on Project Lydia. This is crazy. I just wanted to bring this to you hot and fresh today because I thought it was such an exciting project. It was absolutely friggin', um, absolutely friggin' breathtaking, the sounds that can come out of this thing. And I'm super, super excited about it. And I can tell you right now, almost 100%. I'd say 99.9%. .9%. If this is out now, I might buy this right now and put it under the Christmas tree for myself from Synth Santa himself, okay? So anyways, that's the that's the Roland Project, Lydia. Check it out. Read up on it. It's absolutely fantastic, man. And that's that Synth Show. Thank you. Shoo -shoo.